Man, you really... I don't really feel like talking about what happened back then, cause it's pretty embarrassing. Chen Jiajie had threatened me using my sister. And... I heard that your dad's a gambler. Are you short on cash recently? Basically, I accepted her conditions and took the fall for her. Took the fall for her? What's that supposed to mean? She's the one who stole the phone and spread the rumors. My job was to bully Fang Tung and get someone to beat him up. I feel so stupid now that I think about it. It was horrible, bullying a child like that. But then, I wasn't even able to protect my sister back then, you know? Then that Chen Jia went back on her promise, and she sought revenge against my sister again. My sister being as stubborn as a mule, she fought them head on. As a result, she ended up in the hospital. Although she had been diagnosed with brain cancer before that. But that blow from Chen Jiajia must have worsened Xiao Fen's condition. The doctor demanded that Xiao Fen go to the hospital for surgical treatment within half an year. Chen Jiajia? What? Are you planning on finding her? That won't be necessary. I've taken care of it in my own way. What did you do? You don't have to worry about it. It's enough to make her hate me forever. That's all you need to know. Why are you looking at me like that? Trust me, you really don't want to know. It's too dark for you. You are very well protected. You see everything in black and white. Don't underestimate me, just because you are a few years older than me. No, there are some things that you simply don't need to see. The clothes you're wearing. You should pick them for you, right? If you were to go buy it yourself, all you'd have to do is choose the brand that you like. You don't even have to look at the price. Have you ever seen how people compare the prices to get the cheapest price? Or how they are seriously hanging for a mere 5 to $10 discount at a wholesale market? It's extremely common, but you probably haven't seen it with your own eyes, have you? Here's another example. I once saw a boy who bought a shirt for $100, but the store owner saw that it was counterfeit money. The owner then chased him angrily through the streets. In the end, a car hit the boy and crashed his neck. No one would be responsible for his life as he ran a red light, even if he only did that over a shirt. Pretty crazy, huh? The way others live and die? Just because I haven't seen, it doesn't mean I haven't thought about it. Maybe, someday you and your father would be getting off the car in front of a restaurant, dressed neatly and all. Well, I might be fighting someone in some dark alley somewhere. You get what I mean? And that's why I really wasn't surprised when you said you sucked to me that day. It's entirely possible for you to say something like that after all. In fact, you probably thought so a long time ago, didn't you? No. What? What I said that day was mainly because of your attitude towards the incident with Fang Tang. I really didn't mean it. At that time, I didn't feel a hint of guilt from you towards Fang Tang. I figured you should at least admit your mistake after doing something wrong like that. I gave it some thought afterwards. 
We were both angry at that time. You refused to admit it, and I said some nasty things too. I'm sorry. You are apologizing for Fang Tang's matter? There's no need for you to apologize, is there? As much as I hate Fang Tang being such a talkative idiot, he's indeed the victim in this chase. He did nothing to hurt me nor my sister. It was Chen Jiajia who hit my sister back then. Fang Tang didn't force my sister to do anything. She did it all voluntarily. She confronted them head on for Fang Tang's sake. Meanwhile, I bullied Fang Tang twice, and the second time was simply out of revenge. So you see, it was perfectly reasonable for you to call me a bad guy, right? But if Fang Tang knew all this, he'd feel sorry too. After all, your sister did it for him. What? Is it painful finding out about this? I don't want to tell you about this before because it was useless and would only upset you even more. I know I'm not a social justice warrior or anything. I've done so many bad things. As such, I figured I might as well make some more mistakes so you hate me even more. That way, I'd feel a lot more comfortable. But now... It's pointless to say who's right or wrong anymore, so don't worry about it. You did it all for Fang Tang, and I did it for my sister. Chen Lan, we were all too weak back then. We couldn't protect ourselves, nor could we protect our loved ones. If weakness itself is a sin, then so be it. I'm very sorry about what happened to your sister. She was such a nice girl. And yet, she got caught up in all this. Oh well, some things are destined, I guess. Even if that blow didn't kill her, she would have died from her brain cancer sooner or later anyway. But you're actually sad, right? That what happened to you and your sister? You brush it off casually, but you're actually hurting a lot deep inside, aren't you? Don't look at me with pity like that. You were upset too when I called you a bad guy, weren't you? Even though I didn't really think of you as one. Well, your understanding towards me have always been contradictory. You treat me harshly a moment ago, but can't help be kind to me the next. I don't even know what part of me moved you. I'll start over, and I'll get to know you again, Chenlan. Is there even a need to? Just forget it. Besides, we also... Of course there's a need to. Having talked so much with you and Janiel, I realized that some things are different from what I had originally thought. What I see may not necessarily be the whole truth. I'm sorry. I apologize for all the prejudice and misunderstandings. I may need some time to learn more. It's good for you to think like that. After all, you're still very young. You have a clear distinction between right and wrong, as well as a burning passion to seek justice for Fang Tang. You need time to understand me and my world. But I may not wait that long, Bai Hu. Even if I did wait for a long time and just kept on waiting, would you really show up in the end? I should get going now. It's getting late, and I still have to meet someone really troublesome. Where are you going? To find myself a place to sleep? Why aren't you staying with Janiao anymore? Janiao?